What's up, YouTube? Card Boss here. We talk about cards, money, investing. Back with another PMG related video. And this time we're zooming back to the recent Goldeen auctions with that record setting 132,000 Spider Man Blue. I talked about that Spider Man in my last video, but today I'm going to go in a different direction and just spotted a massive shield in that very same auction. Before we start, if you like my content and wish to watch more, please subscribe now as that will really help me out. All right. We're talking about the Deadpool 2017 Fleer Ultra Spider-Man PMG Blue numbered out of 49 in a PSA 8 slab that sold for $4,920 after buyer's premium, which is basically a 4100 bid. So what about this card and why is it getting top dollars? Well, firstly, it's obviously a precious metal gem and you know it's a darling of Marvel cards these days. Second, it's Deadpool. The mercenary with a mouth that we all love right top five marvel character and all of that i personally pc deadpool and i do own a copy of this pmg but it's not graded so i wasn't really paying a lot of attention to this particular deadpool having it in a psa 8 holder you know after losing out on another auction which i'm going to talk about more in a bit so i'm going to take a step back first and just talk a bit about Goldin. after the pwcc fiasco back in july august last year a lot of auction companies have put in place measures to combat potential shield bidding or non-payment clients. Obviously, each of these companies like Godin can only do so much to vet through the integrity of their customers. But unlike eBay, where there is close to no filter, there should be some level of confidence in Godin's auctions results. At least, that was my perception until I checked again. Just five days ago, the same Deadpool in a PSA 9 holder sold an auction on eBay by Probstein123 for $2,650. No buyer's premium here. First of all, I felt it was a little high for this card, but I get why someone would pay in excess of $2,000 as PSA 9s are pretty hard to come by for the 2017 Field Ultra, which has a thicker card stock. So this PSA 9, some can argue is fairly priced or maybe a tad under for those who appreciate the value of PSA 9 slab for this set. But when you compare this to the Golden auction that ended just five days after, someone quote unquote paid 85% more for a card at one full grade lower. What gives? Nothing has changed in the PMG or Deadpool world in the last five days. You know, we dig into the bid history for the Golden auction and we have our answer. Incremental bids of $250 after it crossed the threshold of $2,500. This one can't be more obvious. The signs are all pointing manipulation here and it goes to show that some of these results need to be re-examined carefully before taking it as data. Now, does this represent all of Godin's recent auctions like the PMG Blue Spider-Man? Without comp data, it's hard to say and it would be unfair to judge strictly on the bidding pattern alone. But this Deadpool, 85% higher than the previous one closed just 5 days earlier, one full grade lower, peculiar grading pattern. Right, this is daylight shield bidding in Godin. I got nothing against Godin and haven't lost respect to their brand or the system, but it goes to show that we need to always exercise extreme caution, do your diligence proper before investing. Now, we all know that shield bidding is rampant in the sports card world and it's quite unfortunate now that it's spreading to Marvel as well. Of course, this is nothing new or unexpected. It just sucks, right? All right, that's a quick one I have for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Carbos out.